Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is January 3rd of 2023. I have to remember what year it is still. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom. So today, um, during the regular daily prom, we had a prom that I've done, I guess, I don't know. I, I did it okay, pretty quickly. So I'm trying to um, do a bonus one. So come and do it with me. Uh, and we'll let the RNG do it. Figure out which one we did. Okay, so to, this one's an easy one. So that's pr pretty okay. Uh, yeah, so and this is actually not a premium question as far as I can tell. So you can actually do it with me, even if you don't have premium. Uh, but yeah, 671 second minimum node in a binary tree. So, okay, is this a regular binary tree? Given binary tree, non negative run, where each node in this has two or zero sub nodes. Okay, that's a binary tree. Oh, mm, yeah, okay. Mm, I guess there's no. Mm. Okay. If a node has two, th this is a weird tree actually. Let me kind of read this carefully. If a node has two sub nodes, then this node's value is smaller value among the sub nodes. More formally, root down. Okay, so this is actually not a a regular binary tree. This is almost like a heap, right? Um, I think a well, I mean, a heap is more of a complete tree. So th there's another there are other constraints, but I think the part of the invariant of a heap. At least for min heap, because I guess there's max heap as well, is that each node is smaller than its um, uh, uh, its child, right, uh, or both its children. So okay, so then we have to figure out what the second minimum node is. It feels like, and I don't even I haven't really thought about it, but it feels like it's one of those. Um, huh, this is very weird. Well, I was going to say, it feels like it's one of those things where you have to walk a dagger. I don't... Well, this is just a weird one because I think they they weren't very really clear um, because what you want is actually the second... Maybe that's why there's so many downloads. The second minimum unique value, right? Because obviously... Um, because obviously, the, otherwise, the, the second minimum node is just always the, the root one of Wood's child, right? So we have to figure out whether it, yeah. Um, all they had to do is just add an extra word unique. Hmm. Uh, notice only 25, so this is even sillier. But I'm trying to think whether, you know, what I can do. With, so the way that I would say if I was in a contest and I'm just going for time and speed running this, I would just do it that first search, right? This is pretty straightforward. But, um, or pre, uh, pre-order traverso or something like that but um yeah i mean i don't know i mean i think it's still going to be that case in the worst case because you can construct an almost complete tree with one node at the very bottom and you just have to look at all the nodes to make sure that's the case right but you can make some slight optimization i suppose but this is still very weird um so basically you know what the minimum value is. The minimum value is the root node. So basically, you just basic, even like, you know, um, you just want the first, maybe not the first, but the, the value that isn't a node. So basically, eh, so if, if node.value is not equal to root.value, then we return node.value, right? Because, um, by definition, everything um, that's a descendant of this node is all, it's going to be bigger, right? Um, so if it's not the root, then it, it has to be the second smallest. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be the second smallest, but it, it nothing afterwards can be the second smallest. So okay, so if node dot left is not none, then we can we only have to check one of these, I suppose. Otherwise, we return negative one, I suppose. Mm, or I, I would say infinity. I think that's a better invariant for me, or uh, sentinel for me. Okay, so if that means that if we have children, then basically, I mean, this is a case analysis type thing, almost. Um, you want to do a pre-order node dot left, pre-order node dot right, and then return the min of these. 
And I think that's it. I mean, this is going to be... Hmm. Oh, I forgot to... Um, eh. Okay, so let's give it a submit. I mean, yeah, in the worst case, like I said, this is going to be linear time, linear space, because this is a traversal of the tree. Um, and you can't even do any breath first search thing, in case you're wondering. I, I did think about that a little bit, but I didn't really articulate it. Um, because you can imagine that, you know, you have all these twos, and then maybe like on the left side, or you could have something that have just more twos on one side, but then like a three like really deep in and then like a five on the other side but and you have to go all the way to the, to the deepest part of the other one anyway right so there's that um so it's gonna be linear time linear space and that's uh optimal you could say oh of h for space if you want to say that for the height of the tree um and what was what i was gonna say yeah i mean i think this is it, it's it's it, obviously you could also just do a regular uh, order traversal, but the way that I did it here, technically speaking, we we are more I don't know in tune with the the problems. Like they, they, I mean, it's a very micro optimization. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I care about it that much about it. But in theory, if you do get something like this on an interview, then this answers it. Um, more precisely with respect to the invariants that you want to answer. But I don't know. This just seems like a eh, maybe it's an okay problem, but I, I don't know why they didn't just add in unique. Uh, that would have made it a lot more readable, if nothing else. Um, cool. That's all I have for today. Let me know what you think. I got to go to the gym. Stay good. Stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.